Okay, so I want to kind of just do a brief review of what we did yesterday, just to kind of reinforce it, that you're doing Grasping Sparrow's Tail in Tai Chi, and we're doing it both in Wu and in Yang style. This is something that was taught to me by um, Master Tak in Malaysia. And it's a way of going through the sequence of Grasping Sparrow's Tail and massaging specific organs. And the basic sequence is from starting out in, in ward off left, I do it in Yang style, if I'm starting off in ward off left, as I transfer and transition to ward off right, I'm doing a massaging action through my liver. I release it when I get to ward off right. I then do the massaging action into my spleen during rollback, release it into the heart in the transition, depress, release through the kidneys, back to push and release through the lungs, which is kind of a little more complicated because it actually works one lung and then the other one, and then the release. And the big thing about this that's important is you have to be able to get two things going on. One is there's kind of a natural compression that happens through your body that puts like pressure on the abdominal cavity. Well, what you have to learn how to do is you have to be able to get that very specific. So instead of it just kind of being a generic pressure through your abdominal cavity, you have it going specifically onto a particular organ. The next thing is the motion of your arms and how your arms connect into your body has to be done in such a way that the connection like of my arms, normally if I'm doing the form, most of the arm back is through my spine. But what I have to do is I have to actually adjust my arms a little bit so that the pulls and stuff that are happening through my body are happening into my abdominal cavity rather than through my spine. And so that's where you'll see if you're doing your form specifically to massage your organs, it might look slightly different than if you're doing it as like your normal martial practice or just regular health general practice. But what it does is it, it, it really detoxifies your organs and it actually really kind of moves your chi a lot, a lot more. So like here, for instance, if I'm doing rollback in Yang style, and I'm doing it kind of normally. Well, right here, the actual kind of connection of my arms is I want it down into my feet. And so I'm trying to really basically almost like, there's almost a sense of like the pulling and everything is just like going right down into my foot, especially my back foot, but really both feet. But if I'm doing it to work my spleen, trying to get that connection to actually focus into the inner part of my body where my spleen is. So it's a different, I'm, and it's different, if you looked at my arms, my arm position is slightly different because I'm trying to get that connection. I'm not doing it like, okay, there is a form that is immutable. I am trying to get this particular stretch and compression to occur. I don't think that shuts off completely. Yeah. Okay, another aspect, like so if I'm doing that, again, if I'm doing it in Wu style, you have the same thing going on. Let's say I'm going from ward off to roll back in Wu style. And I'm doing it how I would normally do it. Here, I'm trying to maximize the pull into my lower dantian. I'm doing it to massage my spleen. See how my hand position is probably 
three or four inches higher because I'm trying to get the pressure internally to come up into my spleen. And so that's kind of why when you're doing this, the external form might look slightly different. It's not going to look very much, but it might a little bit. The other thing that we covered kind of fairly briefly, because we worked just on the liver mostly yesterday, that's really all we really worked with, um, is that the connection you get inside your own body also has, ultimately has a, a martial component, because if you can get the connection through your opponent's body into their organ, then you can manipulate what's going on with them internally. Um, so that's sort of a summary of what we did yesterday. So, Michael, you, ha you had a question. Which way does it, once you have it down here, does it run up or roll down on your spleen? It, it, it actually rolls up into your spleen, but we'll get into that more. 